Hi and welcome to today's session about data integration. Or more importantly, how IPASS accelerates your time to value. My name is Klaus Huber and I'm the responsible for all sales in Boom, of Boomi in Sweden. It's now two years since I joined Boomi and during these two years, we have grown the number of Swedish Boomi customers to the double uh, as it was before. And before joining Boomi, I was uh, working with integration at several known brands like IBM and Microsoft during my 30 years in the industry. Almost the same time Boomi has been around, it is actually 20 years old, and I would say young. Uh, and during these years, more exactly 2007, they invented the expression IPASS by launching what is today the Boomi Atosphere platform that instantly connects everyone to everything. And that has made a successful journey to our over 15,000 customers today. And I think we are even above uh, 17,000 if we would look into the customer records today. And the reason behind that is actually that if you look at the speed of delivery, you do with Boomi platform. The ease of use of either setting up a connection or changing a current connection and the total uh, lower cost of ownership that you have with the Boomi platform, that is one of the reasons why it's growing so rapidly. And just as one of the uh, analysts said in their latest report, that with the Boomi platform, you were able to have a 400% ROI. So, what is Boomi then about? Well, this is actually the Boomi platform or more called Atomsphere among the customers. And it's a new way of thinking about integration. So let's take an example of a new hire to explain the platform's functionality. We start off with integrating to the data sources where all the data resides about the new hire. That is the integration part of the platform. Then we realize that we need to synchronize and consolidate that information. And that is why we use the master data hub to do that. So synchronizing and, and consolidating all data uh, around the new hire as such. Based on that, we are now facing the situation where we have to move that data to and what we want to share by moving that data throughout the process of new hire. That is where we engage with the functionality called flow and build a journey, which is orchestrating the data's journey throughout the data network and the platform, securing that the right information is at the right place, showing up for the right person at the right time. That would normally require two or three suppliers and solutions to do the same. And with the Boomi platform, you can actually do it within the same platform, with the same user interface, with the same user credibilities uh, that you have when logging on to the platform. So that is why we are talking about a new way of integrating uh, and a new way of talking about integrations. Well, if we go back to the 17,000 customers we were talking about earlier, they have probably said many of those customers uh, comments that you see on the screen. And we've heard them several times. Uh, you maybe recognize one or two yourself. And today's struggle is actually about both the business side and the IT side. So, for example, it's very much uh, been IT and lower the cost, which is said as one of the bubbles on the screen. But today it's very much the business, and that is new because they are actually talking about integration in the way that we are uh, supplying it. So doing it as soon as possible, meaning quick delivery at the most cost effective way, which has the lower cost of uh, uh, ownership. So instead of me keep on talking, I would like to, with this picture, let a, one of our customers tell you about their journey and how they sort of solve their IT and business struggles with the Boomi platform. So, with that said, the scene is yours, Andreas.
Thank you. Uh, my name is Andreas Karlsson and I work for Hexpool Engineered Products, which is one of two legs within the Hexpool group. Next slide. We manufacture wheels and tires, rubber gaskets and seals uh, with operations in, in five different countries. All sites within Hexpool Engineered Products are using the same ERP system. IFS with around 300 different licensed users, which uh, I, me and my team supports. The rest of Hexpool, which is the main part of the company group, are not using IFS as ERP systems. They're using different kinds of ERPs. And in total, we are around four and a half thousand employees. Next slide. Who am I? My name is Andreas Karlsson, as I said, and I joined Gislavid Gummi, which is part of Hexpool Engineer Product last year. I have more than 20 years of experience in ERP development and integrations. Before joining Gislavid Gummi, I worked as a development architect for one of the major ERP companies. And within product development, I designed ERP functionality building and defining standards for localizations and data transformations. Next slide, please. How did it all start, the integration journey? Gislav Gummi had in, have had an integration on the roadmap for quite a few years, an internal integration within Hexpool between Hexpool systems reporting transactions and syncing basic data to another part of the Hexpool group. It's a system that I don't have access to myself, so I count this as a more or less an external integration. The problems that existed is that there were no time and an extremely limited knowledge within the existing organization to work on the integration. There's no standard integration tool and all of the existing integrations between IFS and non-IFS applications are custom built. And there are quite a few integrations of that kind. And bringing up integrations for discussion was quite painful. Next slide, please. So when I started and, and because of my background in ERP development, I really prefer standard solutions. Solutions that are going to be easy to maintain after they have been implemented, and very importantly, possibility to support both on-prem and in-cloud deployments. I didn't want to build a custom one-time solution to solve this integration. Uh, instead, I wanted to have an integration platform that could handle all the existing and all the future integrations that we have and will need in the future. So I started to ask questions about the standard integration platform su supported by our ERP. So I sent questions both to our consultants and directly to IFS development. And my main criteria or our main criteria is uh, a standard solution or a standard product. If it's officially supported, then the solution we build will be more future proof, especially when going to a cloud solution sometime in the future. And currently we are on prem with uh, our IFS deployment. And going to the cloud is only a matter of time. It will happen sooner or later. The solution we choose need to have a simple implementation and, and basically be maintenance free or very low maintenance. So while waiting for responses from different parties, IFS consultants, I started to work on the hard part of the solution. As I see it, the integration itself is simple. It's data going from one place to another. Uh, I find it simple as long as you understand the data and also understand what the data is used for. What data is needed? Understanding the data, where is it stored? How is it structured in the ERP? Where is the data going? How is it going to be used? What is the purpose of the integration and the purpose of the data? 
if you have a good understanding on the purpose and how the data is going to be used, it's going to be easier to pick out the correct data from, from the database and also easier to ask the correct questions. For example, if you have an address, what is the address going to be used for? Is it the poster address or a delivery address? Is the data going to be used for communicating with the customer or handle delivery of goods to specific locations? Both are addresses probably stored in the same location, but it's, it's quite vital to select the, the correct one. So I did integration designs, designing how to gather the data, how to combine the data, and then how to build the file that are going to be sent. And there's quite a few different files that needed to be part of the integration. In my opinion, this is the most import important part. It can save you a lot of time problems if you understand the data. Next slide, please. After doing quite a few inquiries uh, through IFS and our system consultants, I got in contact with Boomi. And our system consultants, they set up a meeting. And the first time I talked with someone from Boomi was uh, February 18 this year. And I will come back to those dates again. And at that first meeting, I don't think I even saw the actual product. It was a quick meeting where a consultant from Boomi presented the product, told us what it could do, and uh, uh, it sounded all quite promising. And since this was an officially supported integration product by IFS, we decided to do a proof of concept with a uh, demo license in, in our environment to test the product to see if it could do what they said. Uh, and it was also promised that Boom was going to help us build the first message and make sure that the, the different transformation worked to, to get the end result. And since I had already done all the design work on how to retrieve the data and how to combine it to create the output, uh, and it was also going to be a very small impact on our existing environment. So we decided to do a test installation, define the connections, build the message, and then see what happened from there. Next slide, please. I installed the product on March 4, and I had to go back to my calendar to check these dates. Uh, a very small connection agent in our en environment. The rest of Boomi is in the cloud, where I did all the configurations and all the uh, setup of the, the messages. We had the first setup config meeting on March 8, where I was shown Boomi for the first time. I, I hadn't seen the product before that. Uh, the Boomi consultants had prepared some examples and defined the connections. And we built the structure of the first met message together in that meeting. Uh, a file containing customer related information, a very simple, very simple content, basically a customer master file with limited data. And I have already done the design part. I then played around with the product for a couple of days, built my own file from scratch containing product related information from sales invoices, which is a much more complicated uh, file that pulls data from quite a few different uh, sources. It was quite easy for me to understand the functions and what, the, and what I needed to do in Boomi to make this work, to get the desired end result. Using translation tables, custom functions, and, and other uh, functionalities within Boomi. So I built my two files. And I did a production test to the target system on March 16. It went quite well. So I put the integration live, sending these two files daily to the target system. I have later changed this to send data every four hours. So going live on March 18, no, going live on March 16, eight days after seeing the product for the first time. For me, it was a very quick and, and easy implementation. 
from start to finish. Partly because I had already done the hard work with the data design. But also because Boomi is a platform that had all the functions I needed to achieve the end result. Currently, we have six different files live running through Boomi from our ERP to another Hexpole system. The plan is to add an additional 15 or 20 different files between these two systems and also move existing custom built integrations into a platform where it's easy to have control over them. But this is further into the future when I can find more time because the, the custom integrations, even though very few actually know how they, how they work, they, they still work. For me, it was a, a very easy decision to use an integration platform or a standard integration platform to get my integrations under control. Next slide, please. And then I, I hand it back to Klaus again. Thank you. Thank you, Andreas. It was very interesting to listening to you. And um, I picked up some things where I felt that you reiterated what I said in the beginning. You had your first meeting or your first encounter, I think it was around 19th or 18th of February. And is you went live at the 16th of March, which to me is more or less within four weeks. And that is the summarized example I want to deliver to all of you the listening. That is the time to value we are talking about and how we create that acceleration, which has to be seen uh, because it goes sometimes so fast that people when they uh, hear this from uh, us and other consultants really want to speak with people like Andreas to get it shown and get it proved. So thank you Andreas for pointing out, as you said, very quick, very easy. And for those of you that would like to get more into the Boomi platform and not only listening to this presentation, I recommend you to sign up uh, at the technology practice. It is in our the Boomi exhibition booth on the Data Innovation Summit uh, event platform. So if you want to know more, if you get hands on Boomi and do what Andreas is already doing, please sign up yourself on the technology practice in the exhibition booth of uh, Boomi at the Data Innovation Summit uh, event platform. And with that, Thank you everyone to listening uh, to us and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.